everybody. Hope you're doing well and staying home. Uh, I wasn't gonna do this vlog at first, um, but I wanted to share with you guys just how my experience went. Um, probably one of the funnest gigs I've played to date. But first, before we get into it, just some YouTube social media updates for you. So with everything that's going on, it's a bit harder to post on a weekly schedule, even bi-weekly schedule. Um, so all the upcoming postings on YouTube, at least, will be uh, a bit more sporadic, maybe. I'm currently working with uh, a couple great friends uh, and musicians to see if we can't get something going. And hopefully soon I'll be able to get on a bit of a weekly or bi-weekly schedule. I can let you guys know what day they're gonna, uh, videos will be coming out. But as I'm not a video guy, um, I'm still learning how a lot of this stuff works. <laughs> so bear with me, please. But that's kind of what I feel uh, this channel is for. It's for me to kind of show you guys my journey and document what it's like for me to go into this whole music world. Okay, now to get uh, what you all are here for. So yeah, in case you missed it, I got to play with the one and only Walter Egan back in late February. Uh, Kimbrough's Pick and Parlor and, and, and downtown Franklin um, and it was so great to play with him and uh, Soup who's a bass player uh, and Chris who was the key player and uh, vocalist as well. Great guys, but, uh, came together really great, uh, couldn't be happier. And if you haven't checked out the videos I posted from that, uh, there's like five or six on my YouTube channel and posted clips on my Instagram. Uh, please go check that out after. Um, all done by the great Eli Grice. Uh, his stuff is in the description below. Please check him out uh, as well as his YouTube. But yeah, it was such an amazing experience to get to play with him um, and his guys. It was very humbling uh, to be able to be around um, a couple of great musicians. So how I got the gig um, is a bit of a funny story. I met Walter, uh, gosh, it must be like five years ago now, or even more, uh, at a camp called the Jam Camp. Um, wonderful camp, he was an instructor there. And I think the second year I was there, he was my band instructor. Um, and I think that was the year before I went to high school, so going into my freshman year. And lo and behold, he is a substitute teacher at my uh, high school I went to. So it was in that way I got to see him on and off for four years. Um, we chatted, you know, when we got to see each other. And uh, when I was a senior, I said, hey, I would love to keep in touch with you. And uh, I got his number and that summer I, you know, called him up and said, hey, you know, I just want to jam or something. And, um, one thing led to another and he said, would you like to play this gig with me? And there it was. So when it came down to it, he gave me uh, CDs, two CDs, uh, with all the music I had to learn in a paper so I could see you know, which one was where. Um, and to be honest, it was probably the most amount of music I've had to learn for one night. Uh, it was about two and a half hours of music. Uh, we played. I think around an hour, hour and change, and then we did, uh, which was uh, his originals, and then about 45 minutes of covers. Uh, yeah, I love playing this stuff, oh my gosh. It was a genre of music I knew about, um, but I've never dove into it. Um, it was just, you know, your good uh, backbeat rock and roll, um, nothing fancy about it. Um, you know, Rolling Stones, uh, The Doors, uh, you know, great. Uh, the 70s stuff. For me, it it was definitely uh, challenging to play simpler because um, that's all the songs called for. It didn't call for anything flashy uh, in anyone's part. Uh, just lay it down and do the job, and you know, um, I feel like I did that. And you can be the judge of that if you watch those videos. 
but yes, I definitely hope to play with him again uh, when we can all leave our houses and go to shows and play shows. Uh, can't wait for that day. But thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions about my experience or any other questions about the night, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, give the like button some love and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay home, uh, and I hope to see you soon at a gig.